I live here. Eighth Man DVD. Cartoon Classics. Ten years for this day, so happy birthday to you. The buzzard. Well, no, that's mighty neighborly, the buzzard. What a now, a book. Just what I've always never wanted. Lions rarely live beyond the age of ten years. Ten years? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Kushla McCree! One, two, three, four, uh, five, yep, six, yep, it's a uh, ten all right, Leo, absolutely right. You're not getting any younger, Leo, nope, uh, no younger. Not getting any younger, he says. Well, I'm not getting any older, neither. on for size. Oh, the everlasting nerve! You can't even wait till I'm decently deceased before you try to devour me. Oh, I know you went and hurt my feelings. I'll hurt more than your feelings, you carnivorous canary. Temper, temper, Mr. Lion. <laughs> You shouldn't exert yourself like that, Mr. Lion. Come down here, you molten seagull! <laughs> no, 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 I couldn't do that. Oh, no, no. Prepare to defend yourself, then. I'm coming up after you. Be more careful, Mr. Lion. Oh, uh, Toodaloo! <laughs> Don't worry, Mr. Lion. I'll get you down. Yes, sir. Have you down in a jiffy. Now, 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 now wait a minute. Don't bother yourself at all. I'll, I'll be getting myself down. No friend of mine's gonna get himself down. No, no friend of mine.
quit stalling, Mr. Lion. Your time's up, and I'm getting pretty hungry. Yep, pretty hungry. Well, Mr. Buzzard, I've got news for you. You're never going to get me. Never, never, never! <laughs> I fooled him. I fooled him. He'll never get me up here. <laughs> oh, well, uh, uh, Leo, what kept you? but marshmallows. Uber, uh, have one. Music lovers. <laughs> First, we will hear a waltz written by Johann Strauss. <laughs> and as we hear the rhythmic strains of the haunting we flain, listen to the whip wing rhythm of the woodwinds as it rolls a wound and a wound, and it comes out here. <laughs>
Wasn't that lovely? And now we will present the beautiful Blue Danube. <laughs>
thought of this, folks. It says here, a constant menace to pilots are the gremlins who wreck planes with their diabolical sabotage. <laughs> gremlins. <laughs> oh, murder. <laughs> gremlins. <laughs> what a fairy tale. <laughs> Little man, oh brother! <laughs> um, uh, uh, what are the hubbub? Bub. These blockbuster bombs don't go off unless you hit them just right. Yeah? Yeah. Where did he go, George? Which way did he go? Mm, that way. Well, gee, thanks a lot, George. Thanks a lot. What's the matter, Bunny Rabbit? Speak to me. Why don't you say something? I'm only three and a half years old. <laughs>
folks. We ran out of gas. Yeah, you know how it is with these A-cards. Interpretation of a familiar fairy tale entitled The Big Bad Wolf and a Tree Little Pigs. Set to the delightful music of Johannes Brahms Hungarian dances. As the scene opens, we find the Tree Little Pigs building their respective houses.
wait a minute. Wait a minute. No, I don't want no part of it. Listen, you want to eat, don't you? Yeah, Babbitt. I want to eat. I love to eat. Well, then, go up and get the bird out of that nest, and we'll eat. But I don't want to hurt no bird. I like birds. I go hungry first. What's the matter, Freddy Cat? This is only a tiny little bird. You mean a poor little dinsy wincy itsy bitsy defenseless boy? Yes. Let me at him! Let me at him! I'll get him, baby! Gangway! I'll moitalize him! Let me at him! Take it easy! Take I'll it easy! I'll show him! Where's he get that stuff? Don't hold me back! I'll get him! I'll show him! Come on, quit your fooling. Don't get up that ladder. Push me, Abbott! Don't come push on, me! Come on. I'm scared to go up high. I get high trophobia. No, oh, I don't want to come on. Oh, don't come push on. me. Oh, come on. Don't. You can't make me do it. You can't make me do it. <laughs> he do it. Come on, stupid. Get the bird. Oh. Give me the bird. Give me the bird. If the Hayes office would only let me, I'd give him the boy, all right. Under control. Don't push me down in a box, Babbitt. Please don't do it. Don't do it. Hey, Babbitt! Oh, Babbitt! Babbitt! What's the matter now? I'm afraid of the dark. Well, I'll let you out then. I thought I tore a putty tap. I did. I tore a putty tap. Clowning. What's the matter with you? Aren't you ashamed? I don't know. Why do you do these things? I'm a bad pussycat. Oh, I just can't seem to get the boy. Ain't no use. Don't worry. I can't do it. This'll get you up there. Contact. 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 I 
unidentified object flying around my little head. Is there an insurance salesman in the house? This 
criminals are all alike. I can see it in your eyes. Just a stupid ignoramus. A numbskull. A nitwit. A nincom... A poor little sick billy goat. Hey, William, this'll fix you up. A sodium acetyl salicylate. Listen to it fizz. Provides <laughs> immediate relief from hypergasicity, banishes after dinner discomfort and loginess. <laughs> Great, great Uncle Dillingham duck. Did I cry spinach when I stood a duck on Plymouth Rock? Did I in Washington give up with their limp fortune hog? Did Dan O'Boone and me quite quits when Injun saved our scalp? Did John Paul Duck give up the ship or ever holler help? Hey, Daffy, Americans don't give up. No, Daffy, Americans. Right? And I'm an American! Duck. Up there in the sky! It's a bird! No, it's a plane! No! It's Super American!
broken arms, uh, b -b bill, room, uh, sixty-five dollars, uh, b -b bath, and then 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 and and then and then and You will, of course, uh, pay the bill now before you leave, no? Uh, no, no, no. I mean, yes. Um, uh, my partner, Daffy Duck, will be re right back. He's out uh, he, uh, uh, he, uh, cashing a check. Come on, Seven. Be good to Daffy. Don't fail me now. Uh-oh. Snake eyes. Too bad. You is a dead duck, duck. Well, um, I hope so. Huh? Insulting my integrity! Hey, Faxo! Insinuating I flee this flea bitten duck! Hey, Faxo! Intimating I'd abscond with your financial remuneration! Hey, Faxo! Hey, look! A Dick Tracy character! Prune face! You have insult me. We meet on the field of honor. My card. You've had your coffee racing for this week, Robespierre. You have insulted me. We meet on the field of onion.
minute. It's kidding me. I'm going stir crazy. Bastille Betty. Cooler cuckoo. Look at my prison pallor. I'm as black as a sheet. Uh, gosh, if uh, uh, Bugs Bunny was only here. Yeah, Bugs Bunny, my hero. He can get out of any spot. I saw him in a Le Leon Schlesinger cartoon once. The hunter had him covered. And he, uh, he, uh, he uh, grabbed the gun. And bang! The hunter fell. What a guy. Nothing can hold him. He'll get us out of here. Hello, Central. Give me Bugs Bunny. Hello, Bugs. This is Daffy. Uh, what's up, Duck? That Palooka manager has got us locked up in the Broken Arms Hotel. We thought you could help us get out. Uh, did you try the elevator? Yes. And uh, throw him down the stairs? Yes. Use the sheet? Yes. Swing across on the rope? Yes. We tried all those ways. Ah! Don't work, do they? That's all, folks. Pimento University. Pimento U. Good old P.U. Pimento U, oh sweet P.U. Thy fragrant odor scents the air. A pox on Yale, poo, poo, Purdue. Pimento U, my college fair. Oh, Out tea. and away, the most popular fellows at, uh... <clears throat> Out and away, the most popular fellows at old P.U. are the three Dover boys. Tom, the fun-loving member of the trio. Dick, a serious lad of 18 summers, plus a winter in Florida, as related to the Dover boys in the Everglades. And uh, Larry, the youngest of the three jerks, uh, uh, brothers. A gay outing at the park has been planned by the merry trio, and they're off to fetch their fiancée, dainty Dora Standpipe, at Miss Cheddar's female academy close by. With their usual punctuality, the boys arrive at the pointed hour of three. soon on their rollicking way. Forced to pass a certain public house, a tavern of unsavory repute, our young friends meet the distressing situation with their usual uncompromising moral fortitude. They know that even now, within this very tavern, Dan Backslide, the former sneak of Rookford Hall, coward, bully, cad, and thief, and arch enemy of the Dover Boys, squanders his misspent life. Hark! The Dover Boys. Dread them. Double dread them. They are escorting Dora Standpipe. Dear rich Dora Standpipe, how I love her! Father's money. Confound those Dover boys! Oh, how I hate them! I hate Tom! I hate Dick! And I hate Larry! They drive me to drink! <laughs> Found them! But let's...
let us draw the curtain on this sordid scene and turn to more pleasant surroundings, where we find our young friends engaged in a spirited game of hide, go, and uh, seek. 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55. No, no! In here! No, up here, up here! No, no, over here, over here. Over here, in here. No, no, in here. No, in here. Over oh, here. Over 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 here. Then Dora must be alone and unprotected! A runabout. I'll steal it! No one will ever know! this predicament? Will no one come to her assistance? But hold on. What's this? It looks like an alert young scout. And that's just what it is. He'll not fail her, I'll venture. Telegram for the Dover, boys. Mrs. Tom, Dick, and Larry, care away with tabbing up a bottleneck, New York. Sirs, quote, help! Unquote. Signed, Dora. 35 cents collect. Chin held high, the stalwart sons of OPU are here at hand to do or die. P.U.P.U., P. U., we're all for you. Yay, boom. Unhand her, Dan, backslide. Unhand her, Dan, backslide. Unhand her, Dan, backslide. Hey, we're getting in a rut. Stand up and fight, you coward, bully, cat, and thief. Oh, you haven't been thrashed enough yet, eh? And now it is time to say goodbye. Goodbye.
Pardon me, Doc. Fresh out of carrots. Low bridge. I live here. That's my home. That's what it is. <laughs> Do I go around nailing signs over your house? Do I? There's still such a thing as private property, you know. Give me here at the inalienable right of the sanctity of the home. Forgive me, my friend. Uh, do you like blackberry pie? Uh, no, no. Uh, did you say blackberry pie? Yum, yummy. We'll have some! <laughs> what a dumb bunny! <laughs> of course you realize this means war. I will press the get you, uh, press the get, press the target, uh, pr uh, pull a live rabbit, yes. <laughs> Ruta, vuta, zut, and observe a rabbit, yes. <laughs> <laughs> through the basket. There's nothing for to fear. It's a trick. The swords do not penetrate. No. 
saber-toothed tiger. Well, anyway, half a one. <laughs> well, this isn't getting me breakfast. Here, Fido. <laughs> before breakfast, too. Be quiet! Mm. Yum, yummy. My favorite vegetable, duck.
duck acts like he's crazy. That is correct. Absolutely 100% correct. So that's the way it is, eh? All right, then. Cavemen get to go swimming, but I never get to do anything. Well, what are you looking at? Don't just stand there. Do something. Now go get it. The big lummox. <laughs> well, now isn't that clever? The hunter's helper. <laughs> now come on. for a guy that never took a lesson in his life. <laughs> Wait here. Hardly wait. Come on, Fido. wasn't such a hot idea after all. Good night, folks. Oh, boy, 
they dropped the weapon. <laughs> <laughs> look, look, fellas, I I'm in tin tin. Now I got you. You're a dead wabbit. Telegram for Elmer Ford. Uh, what's up, Doc? Dear nephew, I'm waving you three million dollars in my will. Uncle Wooey. Oh, boy, I'm witch. I'm witch. P.S. But you don't get one cent if you harm any animals, especially wabbits. You're free now with the wabbit. Go and womp and frolic in the forest. Oh, boy, I'm witch. Okay, fellas, break it up, break it up. Three million dollars. <laughs> La da 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 I'm just an angel in disguise. Please, Mr. Wabbit, go on back to the forest where you belong. Be a nice with the wabbit. Ooh, ouch, ouch! Hey, what are you trying to do? Kill me? Are you fracture my skull? I'm gonna call Uncle Louie. That's what I'm gonna do. Operator, operator! Hey, you got a nickel? Hello, operator, operator! Give me walnut tree, tree, tree. Oh, that's you, Mert? How's every little thing? Please, Mr. Wabbit, don't call Uncle Wooey. I won't hurt you again, I promise. Well, okay, but watch your step after this, fat boy. Hey, what do you got to eat around this joint? Eat? Eat? I'll fix this guy. Fate he'll twick me, huh? Step right this way. That'll fix him. <laughs> Why the dirty double crosser? Open up! <coughs> hey, I'm getting pneumonia! <coughs> Open up! I'll die! I'll die! No! I'm too young to die! Please! Please let me in! This scene ought to get me the Academy Award. <sighs> Say goodbye to Uncle Louie for me. Oh. Uncle Louie? What have I done? We million dollars all shot to pieces. Don't die with the rabbit. <laughs> Please don't die. Walk a bye, baby, on a when a wind blows your to... Come on, that stuff. Swing it. Walk a bye, baby, on the tweet top. When the wind blows, the crater will walk. When the bow breaks, the crater will fall. Down will come, baby. Special delivery. Your Uncle Wooly has kicked the bucket. You now inherit three million dollars. Inheritance tax, two million defense tax, big tax county veneer, which leaves you owing us one dollar and ninety-eight cents. Please remit. You don't get the dough, eh, Butterball? No, but I'm gonna get you. 
I had to plug you, Mr. Duck, but I'm a sportsman. A great, great sportsman. <laughs> a great sportsman, eh? Sportsman. Listen, sport, you don't know the meaning of fair play. What chance has a poor, helpless, fluffy, little winged creature like me against you? You with your bullets, and your shotgun, and your knife, and your dip call, and your hunting coat, and your hunting dog, and all kind of stuff like that there. What protection have I got? A bulletproof vest, I suppose. <laughs> How does that get there? How would you like to meet me in a fair fight, Mr. Sport? All things being equal, man to man, Marquise of Queensbury rules. Huh? Huh. That's different, eh? Yeah, that's something else again. Yeah, you don't like that, do you, sportsman? No. Yeah. Yeah. You don't like it. Yeah. <laughs> I like it. Ladies and gentle ducks. 
In that corner. <laughs> <laughs> He's a dog. <laughs> you can have him. <laughs> what a tramp. <laughs> Elmer Fudd. Hello. <laughs> This corner, a duck who needs no introduction, that outstanding exponent of clean sportsmanship, that champion of champions, your friend and mine, our own, our beloved Daffy, good to his mother, Duck. <laughs> Now, boys, fight clean. Oh, brother! No rough stuff. None of this. Or this. Or this. Or like so. Or this. Or this. Or this. You understand? Yeah, you mean uh, none of this? Or this? Or like so? Or this? Huh? How about a little of this? Absolutely, uh-uh. You know, there's something awfully screwy about this fight. Or my name isn't Larimore. And it isn't. You got him punchy, champ. He's practically a dead already. Now get in there, Slate. Go on in there and knock him out. Give it to him, champ. Let him have it, champ. Hmm. Getting a little sin on top. How about a little something to stimulate the scalp? <laughs> now shake hands. Which hand do you take? Mm, uh... That one. Nope. Wrong. Guess again. All right, all right. I'll take that over there. <laughs> Ain't he a dope? You sure this is the one you want? <laughs> You're right. <laughs> the right one. And here's round one coming up. One, three, nine, ten. You're out. The winner and new champion, Daffy Duck. <laughs> the one to complain, Mr. Weffley, but I thought you said no woof stuff. None of this, or this, or this, or like so, or this, or this, or this. That's all, folks. Was du da Axe Open geschossen, no? Mach schnell! 
Well, get on, pick. It's a the sign of the old world over. It's the poor what gets a the blame, while the rich has all the gravy. Now ain't that a blankin' shame? Put out those lights! Schultz! <laughs> When you hear the tone, it will be exactly 6.45 and one quarter. Schultz? Six 6.45 and one quarter. Mm. May I present you with this little token of our esteem? For me? Danke schön, danke schön. Oh, uh, just a little going away present. Well, see you around. on you. 
you duck. Hail Hitler! Old King Cole, am a very old soul. 
But the old boy loves to have his fling. Old King Cole, I'm a merry old soul. But he waved his scepter with a swing. Now here is a man who never fooled around. But daily he mixed with the And now he's a yonder with a ring around. They call for Mr. Christian and went on a mute today. <laughs> Old King Cole is a noisy old soul. Because he had his fling, and because he liked to swing, I went down in history. So perhaps there's a chance for me. Have you got any castles that you want to build, baby? You should swallow my book, Henry. I'll get out my scissors, then cut. You got any mortgages you want to have paid, baby? <laughs> with the memories of the bookland frolic. All is well. All is well.
good work, strangers. Food!
I had to do a better hurry. I just got to, to, to ten minutes to catch my plane. Hold everything, Faso! Over hill and over dale, we're always on the dusty trail. Hunting fox and hunting quail, tally ho! I am a hunting fool, giddy up, giddy up, giddy up. My horse and I are of the finest breed, giddy up, giddy up, giddy up. Just like the wind, I ride my sword steed. Sure of foot, sure of eye, feeling onions makes me cry. This makes no sense, so do I. So don't you go and beat me, daddy, to the nearest bar. Yeah! And now the kid goes into a finale. And what a finale! All right, uh, let's 
see what the kid can do. Okay, Sleepy, do your stuff. Let springtime blossoms bloom again in the garden. many interesting sights. This show horse is the pride of the farm and the winner of many blue ribbons. He is trained to perform in every game. First, let's see you do a trot. Now the gallop. That's fine. Now do a canter. I'm happy about the whole thing. The way that you walk, the way that you talk. Hey, hey. That's enough of that. Here we find the farmer's faithful old watchdog. Though he is no longer very active, he still does a few little odd jobs around the house. One of his chores is to fetch the newspaper. Oh, there's the paper now. <laughs> I can hardly wait to see what happened to Dick Tracy. Here is a group of cute little piggies playing in the mud. Well, what are they up to? They seem fascinated by that clock. Oh, well. Here's a proud mother hen, carefully watching over her eggs, anxiously awaiting the eventful day. What a happy little family this will be. What's this? A weasel, the ruthless thief of the barnyard watching his chance to sneak in and steal those defenseless little eggs. He draws closer and closer and closer. we find many species of bird life. The birds always... Oh, look up there. No, no, over to the left. See? A little owl nestling inside the tree trunk. Here's an interesting sight. A young couple laboriously building their nest with a bit of string from here and a piece of straw from there. A little twig, a bit of string, piece of straw, a little twig, a bit of string, piece of straw, a little twig, bit of string, piece of straw, a little twig, string, straw, twig, string, draw, twig, string, draw, twig, string, draw, twig. At the edge 
into the woods, field mice make their home. Here we see one of the most common types. Say, he seems to be a bit worried. Tell me, little fellow, what seems to be troubling you? I don't know, Doc. I... I just keep hearing things. Even the tiniest of insects, such as the ants, have a language all their own. Emerging from the opening comes a female of the species. If you listen very closely, you can hear her calling to her young. Modern farm is conducted on a business like, well, here are those little piggies again. Say, piggies, why don't you go off and play? <coughs> oh, well, suit yourself. Here is one of the strangest friendships that has ever been known. Natural enemies, yet living together as friends. A cat and a mouse. Tell me, is it true that the cat takes good care of you? And keeps you nice and warm? Well, that's truly a friendship. Now, before we leave you, is there anything that you would like to say to your friends in the audience? So, as the day draws to a close, and the sun sinks slowly in the west, we reluctantly take our leave of the farm. Well, the piggies again. Are they going to stay there all night? What in the world can the attraction be?
What's the rush? I'm not going to hurt you. Look what I've got for you. <laughs> Later. Listen, you can have all the cheese you want if you cut the voice. Oh, understand? Okay. There. And that's better. Now get going! Oh, that cat he done told me out there in the kitchen. That cat he done told you what? Oh, he's come here to save us and not to enslave us. That cat's a rat just the same. Oh, no, kids. That the cat, cat is a two-face, a judge a single, leave us to sing the blues in the night. Please take my advice and don't be naughty mice. Appease him or he'll get offended. <laughs> wants to protect us from the ones who wrecked us. Please hear He wants to protect us. Oh, that's what I've been saying. Gee, that'd be fine. Oh, then hurry and sign a truce and go fight. have a feeling that you uh, wanted something, uh, but you didn't know what it was? Uh, yeah, yeah, oh, sure. Uh, I always get that feeling, too. I know. I want a nice, fat, tender mouse. Yes, sir, one nice, fat, tender mouse. Touch it off yourself, see? And remember, above all, to add an over dirty jibbo, reckon I'm Fosco, Fanny, Schnipper, and Al on a filigadusha. You got that? Okay. Thank you. 
backward, turn backward, O time in your flight. Make me a child again, just for tonight. And between these covers, we find these immortal favorites. Sleeping Beauty. Remember the lovely princess who was bewitched into a deep slumber until her Prince Charming came to break the spell? Come on, wake up, wake up! You lazy good for nothing! Come on, wake up! Tom Thumb. The little boy who got his name because he was no bigger than a man's thumb. Let's pay this interesting family a visit. Good evening, Mr. and Mrs. Thumb. Where's little Tom? Are you Tom Thumb? Uh, 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 yeah, uh, that's me. Uh, why, I thought you were no bigger than a man's thumb. How did you get so big? Uh, vitamin B1. <laughs> the Grasshopper and the Ant. The story of the industrious little ant and the lazy grasshopper. climbed a beanstalk, only to be met at the top by a ferocious two-headed giant who forced Jack to run for his life. of his day. By means of a disguise, he preyed upon unsuspecting little sheep. Nights gave us the story of Aladdin and his wonderful lamp. All Aladdin had to do was to rub the lamp and presto, the genie appeared. I dream of genie with light brown hair. kid again. <laughs> what a joke. 
<laughs> what a joy. <laughs> hey, young fella. You're going to yell wolf once too often. Hey, go on, go on. Mind your own business. Mind your own business. Can a guy have a little fun? A session in the woodshed wouldn't do that boy any harm. And here's a bird you wouldn't mind having in your own home. A goose that lays golden eggs. Hey, wait a minute. You're supposed to lay golden eggs. Not anymore, brother. I'm doing my bit for national defense. Old Mother Hubbard went to the cupboard to get her poor dog a bone. Remember this little nursery rhyme? This little piggy went for to market. This little piggy, he's gone for to stay home. This little piggy, he's half roast beef and smashed potatoes. And this poor little piggy, he don't have anything, all kinds of things to eat. And this little piggy, he's for to crying like anything. Wee, 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 all the way. For crying out pit's sake, mother, be careful, my corn! Cinderella and her glass slipper. The little girl Oh! Who... Whoa! Help! Help somebody! Help! Uh-uh. He's at it again. Whoa! Whoa! Help! Help the wolf! Let's join the Army for a day and get a glimpse of military life. Here we are at Fort Nix, typical of the many training camps throughout the country. Coaching, please. 
Uh, now, now, don't tell me. Uh, uh, four, yeah, yeah, four. <laughs> That's right. Now, do you want to try for the $32 question? Well, uh, I don't know. I, uh... You'll be sorry. Uh, uh, no, no, uh, I better take the $16, I better. Sweet music to the ears of all soldiers is the mess call or come and get it. So their appetites appease, the army is ready to carry out the orders of the day. One of the most colorful sights is the well-trained cavalry as it goes through its daily drills. Company, tail, shut! Mark, tight! Right, face! Infantry is the backbone of the army. Marching mile after mile is a matter of routine for these hardy foot soldiers. Following close behind, the camouflage troops. The artillery tries out one of its new guns. In contrast to the mechanized equipment used by the soldiers of today, early conscriptees were trained with makeshift substitutes. Here are a few examples. The machine gun unit. Bang! 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 The tank corps. The parachute troops. The Army Air Corps has proven a vital link in our military chain. During maneuvers, Pursuit planes engage each other in aerial games. Here is the anti-aircraft division in the midst of its daily target practice. The largest guns of the Army are those of the Coast Defense. Directions for firing these huge monsters originated Army headquarters, many miles behind the lines. Elevation, 45 degrees. Direction, 30 degrees north by east. Elevation, 45 degrees. Direction, 30 degrees north by east. Elevation, 45 degrees. Direction, 30 degrees north by east. Longitude, 36 degrees. Latitude, 58. Longitude, 36 degrees. Latitude, 58. Longitude, 36 degrees. Latitude, 58. Ready. 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 Fire. 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 I'm 
a bad general. Son of a the dick the the dick the the dick 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 the you thought I was going to say, as the son of a bitch, didn't you? Get nosy, bud. <laughs> Would you like to be my girl? <laughs> 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 no, I wouldn't like to be a girl. I seen this done in a feature picture once.
Tell me a flinch. I've lost you, Daisy, and I'll never see you again. <laughs> Daisy! Oh, my Daisy, what have they done to you? What have they done to you? They've changed you.
must have goldfish in order to exist. So...
were saying, cats hate, uh, <clears throat> cats love water, and goldfish hate cats. <laughs> Wake up, everybody. Wake up, everybody. Have you had your tasty toasties this morning? Good for you. And now from... Uh, 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 don't touch that dial. And now for our morning exercises. Open those windows. Take a deep breath.
<laughs> now at three o'clock. <laughs> War savings time. <laughs> Kabloom! Hey, you. Is read this. I stick him up. I bet you're that old this, 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 this. Well, I'm not so sure that you're Porky Pig either. There's your license. Can't you see the, the white line? There's the fire. Move along or I'll run you in, Bob. You know, I'm uh, re uh, really getting suspicious of, of, of that guy. Here, Pig, it is one minute to three. Do you see that little bag? Uh, you mean uh, the, uh, that one? Yeah, at exactly three o'clock, that little... Yeah! <laughs> Just my little old heart. Honey, you try it.
I am a man. See? Oh, boy. Can I go? Can I be a sailor? I want to be a sailor. Will you let me be a sailor? Can I go with you? Okay, matey. But you got to remember, see? I am the captain, kid. I do the things my old man did. Well, I'm the kid, the captain's kid, and half a fucking ear. All aboard. Come on, by heck. Your job will be to scrub the deck. Or else I'll twist your leather neck. For I'm a buccaneer. Ship ahoy! Raise the pirate's flag. When we get the swag, we'll sail for Treasure Island. That's where I'll hide the gold and keep it there till I grow old. There's not a pirate half as bold. For I'm the captain's kid. See? <laughs> Oh, my baby boy, are you all right? I knew you'd get in trouble. Now you don't want to be a sailor, do you? <laughs> What would you do with a child like that? Hey, you. Hey, wait a minute. Wait a minute. What's biting you, anyhow? What's biting me? Huh? What's biting me? Huh? Look, I was up at the cabin the other day, just getting myself a bite of lunch. 
I'm, I'm minding my own business when... This program is brought to you each day through the courtesy of the Sterling Silver Fox Farm. Ladies, this is the year for foxes. Yes, foxes have really come into their own. Wherever you see smartly dressed people, you'll see foxes this season. On Fifth Avenue, on Hollywood Boulevard, yes, and even Miami. The discriminating woman everywhere will insist on having a genuine fox around her neck. Now don't forget, ladies, for the best in foxes, go to the Sterling Silver Fox Farm. here tonight, see? Nine o'clock. You're with us, ain't you? Getting out of here? Out of here? Oh, no, no, no. I just got in here. <laughs> I'm practically sold already. Yeah, to, to Mrs. Van Doe. It, he, he said so. Say, are you nuts? Now listen, bub. They're all going out, see? And you're with us. Or... with you, but uh, the, the door's locked. I can't get out. No key. No key? Nine o'clock call. I don't want to 
be no cape. I didn't never want to be no cape. I just want to get out of here. Kid, you hungry? Well, why don't you go in and eat? Oh, you mean you're afraid of that fire water? Eh, hey, don't be silly. Now, just watch me, kid, and I'll show you how it's done. <laughs> oh, it's a cinch.
Yes, it is. Now, I got an idea. Hey, come here, kid. And I'll tell you how you can do the same thing. Hey, come here. Now, uh, here's what you do. You, uh, you go over there in the water to see the minor crystal every suit now. Besides, I've to cuff you more. Don't get harsh, See you once. Now, uh, Okay. Yeah. Well, you're all set, kid. Now, uh, you go in there and do your stuff. I'll see you later. Good luck. I said that, didn't I? <laughs> Fine morning. Time to get up now. Gotta get him up. <laughs> Getting late. Can't sleep all day, you know. No, no, no. <laughs> Can't sleep all day. No, no. I don't sleep all day myself. <laughs> Insomnia. <laughs> Good. Hi, Lug. 
just get a load of that sea air. No, no, you can't do this to me. Come on. No, no, anything but this. Come on, it'll all be over in a minute. Who threw that? Who wants to know? Why don't you bounce that ball off his dome? Along, I've been a dreaming and a scheming a way to escape. As the warden and guards, they all bore me. Life in prison was never meant for me. Although I, I hate, I said, I hate to leave my cell, a matey. Buddies, a sorry, a so very, very, very sorry, warden dear. About time a screaming from here. And now I am going to go. Yes, I am going to scram. Ah, yes, I'm going to go. I'm going to scram. I'm going to take it on the lamb. A go! Bye bye. <laughs> bye bye. Nice voice, nice voice. Great possibilities. Fine boy, fine boy. He's gone, he's gone. He escaped. Why don't somebody do something? Do something. Say, that's a good idea. Maybe I can do something. Sure. <laughs>
happy pictures. I'm wonderful to see. I ought to be in the big pictures. Oh, but what a hit. I would be. be. La da 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 da. Pictures. Oh, la da da.
Yeah, I gotta watch a sheep on account of the wolf will get him if I don't watch him. See, I'm a sheepdog, yeah, but he ain't gonna get him, no sir, no sir, yo, oh, cause I'm a sheepdog, I am, and I'm too smart for him, I am, yeah. as a sheep and mingle with a flock. I gotta tell you, sheep, not to leave the flock. I'm a con at the wolf or get you. And then you'll be sorry because you didn't listen to me when I told you. But you sheep never wanna. Gee, what an ugly looking sheep. But you sheep never wanna listen to me. No, you never do wanna. Now get back in there and stay there! Why, the dirty no good. Well, hello. What have we here? Mutton. Ah. T -t Tender. Mm, a bit scrawny. Boss! Oh, boss! Boss! Oh, boss! Boss! Uh, uh, boss! Boss! I, I ain't the suspicious kind, but there's a wolf in sheep's clothing among us. And it don't look like he's going to no masquerade party. Mm-mm. A wolf? Come on now, come on. I know you're in there and you ain't gonna get away with nothing on account. I'm right on the job. Uh... So you better come on, because I know one of you is a wolf. Yeah. Wolf? <laughs> Wolf? <coughs> Wolf? <coughs> oh, me precious sweet. I love thee with an all-con- 
consuming fire, a fire sparkling in thine eyes, filling me with a madness that keeps repeating, I love thee, I love thee, I love thee. Tricky, he does. Uh, I'll show him I will, I will, I will. La 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 It's me. La 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 Why, Grandma, what a big nose you have. Yes, it is quite a... Profile, isn't it? And Grandma, what big eyes you have! You have beautiful eyes yourself. They're like limpid sapphire pools in the shimmering moonlight. They are? Really? <laughs> You're not kidding me, huh? Well, what do you know? They are pretty. Uh, you're right, my eyes are pretty. They... Huh? You know, I don't think he meant a word he said about my eyes. If I don't get a haircut soon, the dog catchers are gonna get me. James clothing. I caught him. I caught him. Look. <laughs> I caught him. Well, how you like that? Come on now, you 
going to a west. an officer, assault and battery, trespassing, disturbing the peace, miscellaneous misdemeanors, public nuisance, traffic violations, going through a boulevard stop, jaywalking, triple parking, conduct unbecoming to a wabbit. Nice looking chap, oh. Violating traffic regulations. Tension. Why, look at you. You call yourself a Maori. You're a disgrace to the regiment. I'm gonna drum you out of the service. Full of wet. Bang! 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 Click, 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 click. No more bullets. <laughs> Come on, buck up. Don't cry. I'll give myself up. Here, take me in. You really mean it? It's not another twig. No, go ahead, snap him on. Okay, Doc, let's go. Ready, Mr. Wabbit? 
Yeah, go ahead, Doc. I'm ready. Before you die, you can make one last wish. Yeah? Well, uh, let's see now. Um, I wish, um... I wish, um... I wish I was in Dixie. Hooray! Hooray! Oh, can somebody sing this song? Do that, do that. Can somebody start from along? Fantastic, isn't it? Why to run all night? Why to run all day? I'll bet my money on a pop tonight. Somebody there on the bed. I have waited for 
this moment. Ah. Ah. Ah, the fond embrace. Ah. Ah. All this in heaven, too. Oh, your eyes. Mm. Your nose. my eyes. I, I got a deviated septum and dandruff too. I, I got B.O., this panhandle, haliotophus. Look, even my tongue's coated. <sighs> Water on a knee and flat feet, ingrown toenails. Why, even the army don't want me. Look! knows that they can never possibly mean anything to each other.
Give this gentleman his money back. Now we have the world's smallest entertainer. Teeny, tiny, teensy, tinny, tinny, tin. not to be. That is the thing. The balcony scene from Romeo and Juliet. Good night. Parting is such sweet sorrow. Rarely it is. <laughs> Let me thrill again to the soft, sweet tones of your voice. 
Merry man. I'll I'll be Robin Hood. Who's gonna be Robin Hood? You you're gonna be Robin Hood. Who's gonna be Robin Hood? <laughs> you're gonna be Robin Hood. All right. You can be little John. No. Who's gonna be the rich old villain? Now, who's gonna be the old villain? Now, let's see. Who's gonna be the mean old rich old villain? Who's gonna be the old... Me? Don't get so excited. All you gotta do is march through the forest with your treasure and we'll rob you and give it to the poor. Won't that be fun? He wants to be the villain. Don't ya?
my sweetheart. We gotta save her. Where are you, Maid Marian? Where are you, Maid Marian? Here I am. <coughs> Here I am. Help! Where are you? Help! Help! Here I am! <laughs> <laughs> and I like little squirrels very, very much. I love little squirrels, <laughs> little fat, juicy squirrels, <laughs> especially with carrots and potatoes and... Uh, Onions. <laughs> Doesn't that just make your mouth water? We better break down the door. Look, fellas, get me out of here. See? Get me oh. out of here. Look, fellas, please get me out of here. Guess we'll have Fox Stew tonight, boys. Look, fellas, I'm young, strong, healthy. Don't let him kill me! Oh, oh my gosh! I'm afraid to die!
we are at one of the country's most interesting zoos. Here we find the wolf in his natural setting. Next, a pack of camels. A North American Greyhound. And here, two bucks and five cents. And here, two friendly elks. Hello, Bill. Hello, Bill. Hello, Bill. Hello, Bill. No zoo would be complete without a monkey cage. Mother Nature's own weatherman, the little groundhog and his shadow. Over here, we find... <laughs> hey, sir, hey, hey, don't annoy that sign. It's dangerous. Can't you read that sign? You'd better take my advice and leave him alone. Shame, shame, you're a bad boy. The skunk cage is always a center of interest. Well, we're lucky. It's feeding time for the giraffe. This is the second time I've had to speak to you. Leave that line alone. I'm warning you. I'm a bad boy. And here we come to a family of white rabbits. Of course, you all know how fast they multiply. <laughs> Now, over here in the birdhouse, we find the wise old owl. Who? You. Me? Yes. Ooh. An interesting bird is the South African talking parrot. Polly want a cracker? <clears throat> I said, uh, Polly want a cracker? Nah, give me a short beer. Another interesting bird is the Alcatraz jailbird. I didn't do it, I tell you. Okay, I'm afraid, see? Yeah, I'm innocent. I want to see the DA. They can't do this to me, see? They can't hang this on me. I didn't do it, I tell you. I didn't do it, I tell you. Oh, he did so do it. I saw him with my very own eyes. So there. Over here, we find Mother Ostrich on her nest. have something to crow about. Oh, 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 look out, look out. Well, a jackpot. <laughs> for the last time, you'd better stop annoying that line if you know what's good for you. I'm a bad boy. New to the zoo is an elephant just in from Africa. Hello. 
Express Company. This is Joe Jumbo. We'll send it up right away. You know, those guys have had my twunk for a week. And here we have, uh, well, <laughs> these are some things we had left over from that last New Year's party. Pacing back and forth in their cage, we find two restless panthers. Bread and butter, 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 bread and butter. Well, here we have J. Wellington Buttonhook. Mr. Buttonhook used to thrill thousands at the circus by putting his head in a lion's mouth. In this cage, we find the Rocky Mountain Wildcat. Hey, bud, hey, hey, just a minute, bud. Tell me, just what made you wild? What made me wild? What made me wild? Well, I'll tell you. They called my name out at bank night, and I wasn't there! Well, I guess that little fellow finally took my advice and went home. Bringing you lowlights in the world of sport. Archery is one of the most ancient of sports. Here is a modern Robin Hood in action. A bullseye, another bullseye, and another, and another. Indeed, a true champion. A favorite indoor sport which requires a steady hand and perfect timing is billiards. Let's watch this difficult shot. Another popular indoor sport. Each winter, ski jumpers from all over the world go to Lake Placid to test their skill. This is considered to be the highest longest and most treacherous ski jump ever constructed. Only those with iron nerve and daredevil courage ever attempt this hazardous feat. And now, about to undertake this perilous jump is Pavo Nervi. Good luck, old man. Happy landing. The high hurdle race is one of the most exciting events of a track and field meet. We're just in time to see the start of the 120 high hurdle race. And they're off. Aquabells get in the swim for the women's national championships. And here's the finish of the 50 yard freestyle race. This attractive miss is the new women's champion. Basil Barracuda, former Olympic star, demonstrates a few swimming strokes. He shows you the breast stroke. And the back stroke. And now, the crawl. For 
grace and beauty, nothing excels perfect dives. This is the jackknife dive. The beautiful swan dive. And here is another very popular dive. Crew racing is a sport that requires flawless timing and teamwork. Notice their perfect precision. The six-day bicycle race is an annual event at Madison Round Garden. National pastime. Let's take a glance at that popular catcher, Gabby Hernet, in action. Come on, old boy, old boy, put right in her old kid. Oh, give me your old darker right down the middle, old boy, old boy, right in your groove, old kid. Come on, old boy, old boy, can't see what old kid puts it right in her old boy. A little pepper out there, tuck it up there now. Come on, let's go, let's go, not too good. <laughs> attracts such capacity crowds that seating has become a problem. Now here is the latest ideal stadium, the dream of every football fan, where every seat is on the 50-yard line. Now we go down to the field and show you a few exciting moments from this thrilling game. Signals. 18, 36, 52, 27, height. McCullough through the center of the line, and there's a pilot. Is it a touchdown? Did he make it? Is it a touchdown? Is it? Mm, yeah, could be. For the benefit of those in the audience who couldn't follow the play, we'll explain it by means of this animated diagram. From a box formation, the backfield shifts into a modified T formation. The left half runs out into the flat zone, the tailback drops back into the left wing position, the quarterback drops back into the tailback position, Ball is snapped back to the fullback as the running guard pulls out of the line. The right end takes out the left tackle. Left half laterals to the re left wing. Left wing laterals to the left half back. The right half tosses shovel pass against a 2-2-1 defense. Tackle takes out the flanker man. Center blocks out the right guard. The center passes the ball. Tackle goes around in. Signal's called. Forward pass to the fullback. Left end catches the pass. Fumbles the ball. Center blocks out the guard. Spinner through tackle. Quarterback straight out of the end. Run for touchdown. And there you are. And now, the event of events. The Indianapolis Speed Classic. We're in the last lap of this grueling race. Car number 65 is in the lead. Followed by car number 17. And here comes a midget car. And now here comes the winner across the finish line. Let's get a close-up of the victor. Won't you say a few words? Good night's rest.
Bobby. I've I, I killed him. Oh, I had it. I didn't want to do it. But I just had to. He was driving me crazy. Oh, Bobby. 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 Bobby.
Precious little honey lamb.
look like. Thank <laughs> you. 
boy, oh boy. What's a good hoid? What's jumping? How's every little team? Not very good, laddie. I'm in a streak of hard luck. Say, hoot man, what are you doing in that grand car? I belong in it. I got myself a master now, see? Three square meals a day. No more bumming around the streets for me. All I gotta do is wag my tail and make out I'm glad to see him when he comes home. Then it's nice doggy this and nice doggy that. That's a cinch. That sounds very good. But how did you manage to put it over in the first place? Well, one day I did diamonds to get me a master. So I goes to a ritzy district, way over on Park Avenue, where all of them swell penthouses is, through the fancy entrance, up to the top floor of a classy apartment house, and I rings at one of the doors. Who in the wicked world can that be? Every time I get in the, the, the tub, that darn bell rings. <laughs> it, and, it, and it never fails. <laughs> Hello, bub. Hey, I got a preposition for you. Look, you ain't got no dog, and I ain't got no master. What do you say we gets together? You know, let's moige. Here, try me for size. And I'm affectionate, too. Where are we going? Bye-bye? I'm uh, sorry, but I don't want a dog. Well, uh, that's that. tricks to, you know, sit up, roll over, even play dead. Hey, watch me make like rigor mortis. And I'm very affectionate, too. without love, love without you, that does it. This is the end. <laughs> Goodbye, cruel world. Play 
Eighth Man DVD Cartoon Classics <laughs>